Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're going to look at the Survival Kit DVD from Sans Minds. What is the Survival Kit DVD? Uh, it is a, well it's just a DVD, and on the DVD it's going to teach you five different tricks that literally if you had to pull off a stage routine or a parlor routine that evening, you could literally run to the hardware store, grab these couple of items, and immediately have an entire routine. Let's watch the trailer. As a working pro, you've always got to be prepared to impress at a moment's notice. But let's say you're on a vacation or on a trip and you see the perfect opportunity to pitch for your show, but you don't have any of your props in your suitcase and you have nothing prepared. That's where we come in. Here at the Sands Minds Creative Lab, we're going to teach you five presentable party magic effects that you can prepare in just minutes. First, we'll go over how you can make your very own vanishing bottle in just seconds. A classic piece that fries people's brains every time. Next, you'll learn how to morph a fork into a piece of art that you can give to people. They'll be left with an impossible souvenir that makes your magic unforgettable. Let's say you've got to impress more people at once and you really want to step things up. Imagine being able to push a glass bottle into your iPad right before their eyes. It's a perfect piece of magic that incorporates everyday technology and you can prepare for it in just minutes. We'll also teach you how to prepare the classic water vanishing party trick when you don't have that special powder with you. Last but not least, we'll go over how you can pull things out of an empty paper bag completely surrounded. Practical, visual, and easy to do classics that will overcome any language barrier and works for audiences of all age. From our Sands Minds Worker series, this is the Real Worker Survival Kit. All right, so that was the Sands Minds Workers Series Survival Kit. Uh, it is a 37 minute video and it retails for about 20 bucks. So, a couple of questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is what is in the box? What's in the box? Uh, it's a DVD. It is strictly a DVD. Every trick, uh, all five tricks on this DVD are DIY. They're do it yourself. So you will need to source the items from around your home or go to the hardware store, uh, head on down to Home Depot, and uh, pick up the necessary things that you will need. Okay, so what effects are included? Um, the very first effect is a vanishing bottle effect where you actually stick a juice bottle into a bag, crumple up the bag, bottle gone. Uh, there's a fork morph trick on there. Basically it's a mentalism spoon bend, but you're not using a spoon, you're using a fork. Uh, there's a glass bottle into an iPad effect, where basically where you take a uh, glass Perrier bottle and you smash it into your iPad screen, turn the iPad around, and then there's the picture of the bottle. Um, there's a water vanish effect where you pour water into a container, uh, turn it over, and the water seemingly is gone. Obviously, there's a normal way to do that, but they're teaching you kind of a, a DIY way to do it in case you don't have the secret ingredient that you would find normally at your local magic store. And then lastly, there's the paper bag production where you show an empty paper bag and then you're able to tip it and items fall out. Now, obviously, since there's five effects on here, I can't really go over the ins and outs and goods and bads of all five effects. Um, I will rate them for you though, okay? So rated from best trick on the DVD to worst. Um, number one, I would say the vanishing bottle, five stars. Probably easily the best uh, trick on this DVD. I thought it was great. Um, it would work really well in any parlor setting, even a kid's party setting. I think this would be a really great trick. Um, the second one is the paper bag production. So uh, showing an empty paper bag and having items come from that. Um, that was a really well thought through prop and certainly easy enough that you could probably build it at home without any necessary extra pieces. Um, the water vanish was, this is where you kind of get into the so-so range. Uh, their suggestion for the item that you would need to do the water vanish 
could be pretty costly <laughs> for the average magician. Uh, I don't know that you'd want to run into the store and just buy this. Um, I, I would rather find a magic store, a local magic store, <laughs> and get the prop that it really works with. But it was a funny suggestion, and even before I even saw the video, this item was actually my guess, only because I'm a parent and I have children. And then the glass bottle to iPad trick, I would drop uh, to number four, only because number one, you need an iPad. I don't have an iPad. Number two, uh, you gotta do some ditching, and when you have to ditch a full-size glass bottle, that could just present issues as far as how do you do it, how do you keep it from making sound, uh, it works great on YouTube, you know, it's a great YouTube video. I don't know if it's very practical, and that was kind of the thing I ran into again and again with some of these effects. The last one, of course, is the fork morph. I didn't think that trick was good at all. I didn't like how they ditched it. I didn't like how they uh, made it look like you were twisting it. There was just so many bad things with it. I didn't like the props that they used to, to pull the effect off. Um, I felt like that was a throwaway, and it just didn't feel I, there's so many better ways to do a spoon bend than this way, and so I don't know why this was the way they taught you, but yeah, it is what it is. Production values, how are the production values? Uh, the production values are good. Sans Mines always makes very good DVDs. It was a lot like other Sans Mind videos. You know, Jason's out in the street, and he does the, the street magic stuff, and then Herman's back on the stage, and he teaches it to you. And so it was very similar to, you know, other Sans Mines videos, and also very similar to other Sans Mines uh, tricks where you have to do all the work. You know, a lot of Sans Mines videos are DIY where they give you the tools, but in this one, nothing's provided. You have to buy everything yourself. As far as the teaching goes, how is the teaching? You know, they teach you everything you need to know. And, you know, they do spend enough time uh, on every single one of these tricks, and none of the tricks are hard. You know, they're not hard. This isn't an intermediate level uh, magic at all. It's all beginner level, and so I don't think there's any difficulty there other than just the process of doing all the DIY stuff. So really though, this is targeting a beginner magician, somebody who's already not familiar with these style effects, or you know, like they say in their ad, you pull into town and you have no props and someone asks you, hey, do a magic show tonight, you've got to run to the store, buy some stuff, what would you do? Hence, you know, survival kit. But positives, one of the positives to the Worker Series survival kit. Uh, this is a fun do-it-yourself video that could possibly turn into a quick, well-rounded act. Negatives. All right, so what are the negatives? You know, like we say right here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Um, it was just too do-it-yourself for me. Like I said, it wasn't practical enough. I think it works great for video. I think it works great for some stage uh, where you have maybe a lot of music to cover noises of you know ditching items or you know maybe distracting lights I don't know but it just didn't seem it wasn't my style and it didn't seem practical enough for me is it worth your money uh, it's only 20 bucks 20 bucks for five tricks you know 20 bucks is is nothing really and so I think you're definitely getting your money's worth if you think these tricks appeal to you and that you could use them and I think that's the key are you going to actually do these tricks look through the tricks watch the trailer, decide, is this something you would do? If it is, 20 bucks is, is a really good price. Who would like it? Uh, just like the target says, uh, somebody who wants to throw a quick magic act together. Um, this would be great for someone who has no magic experience at all and doesn't want to just sit through piles of books and videos trying to put an act together. This is an act in a box and you could literally not be a magician, take this to the hardware store, buy your supplies and throw an act together quickly and you know appear to be a pretty good, well-rounded magician. And I think that's kind of where it shines. All right, so that is my review for the Worker Series Survival Kit from Sans Mind. And I wanna thank Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this DVD so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase this for yourself, you can find it from your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, bye.